A local man attacked by a shark is walking again. Action News experts reported in July a shark latched on to the foot of Dustin Theobald in Fernandina Beach. New at 530, Action News Jack's Verissa Laudas shows us his long road to recovery. And this looks like a peaceful shoreline, but that was not the case. Just feet off of this coast for Dustin Theobald. He felt a pull on his foot. And what happened next left a trail of blood up this beach. Right over there with the, you see the umbrellas and everything. Dustin Theobald showed us where a shark clamped down on his foot, ripping his tendons and landing him in this hospital bed. His wound was so graphic, we had to blur it. I'm not the type of person that's used to asking people for help. So it was a big transition. But that transition is almost over. And two months later, this is Theobald's foot now. He did great. The Dr. Barnudi, he was amazing. I left him a great Google review and everything. <laughs> this is the first week Theobald returned to work full time, even delegating some of his tasks to his son. He spent the past three weeks in rehab at Jacksonville Orthopedic Institute, doing one leg stands and the elliptical. We're starting to move up to the next level now. So I'm, I'm feeling good about it. I'm happy. Just, Last month, he was able to start walking, driving, and even get back in the water fishing with his family here on September 11th. I was really blessed with family and friends. Still, there's one thing in his recovery he's waiting for most. I'm excited to get back out there. My son's already been back out there. Getting back on his board and back in these waves. And it may be another month or two before Theobald can get back into this water. But I will be posting updates on that on my Twitter at Verissa and Jax. You can also find updates on the Action News Jax website. Reporting from Fernandina Beach, Verissa Laldas, CBS 47, Action News Jax.